What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I want to break down what's going on with Tesla Spy and a couple of other tickers. I'm also going to be talking about NEO and how it could be impacted by Tesla and to the others. But let me first say that I am not a financial planner, take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you guarantee 20 free stocks. If you deposit $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 75 of them. Looking at NEO, we have a nice double bottom like structure, a bullish divergence, and NEO is trying to push over here towards our 200 EMA at this 4.15 area. I think it's going to likely reach this, if not break through this, to get to 4.25. We might see a bounce in the markets. Why? Because the market is trying to push. I'm seeing some life on SPY and the QQQ, and simultaneously, Tesla is gaining a lot of momentum. Tesla has once again uh, absolutely exploded after earnings came out. It's currently at 160 a share. It actually closed at like 144. So it's up 16 points already and could even go higher tomorrow. So looking at it, it's bullish. It's breaking out. It's above its 200 EMA. Tesla is on fire. So why did Tesla explode like this? I want to talk about Tesla because it's very important for the whole market. Tesla could be used as a catalyst to help launch things. So I'm going to break down Tesla first and break down what's happening with the charts. Uh, let's first talk about this. So I just wanted to mention to everyone that Tesla missed on EPS and revenue, okay? They had about 45 cents per share being their EPS. Revenue is about 21 billion. You guys can see it right over here. They missed on both of those because we can see the consensuses are up here. Uh, even though they missed on them, and this is making like a lot of headlines, how Tesla, you know, missed on EPS and revenue. At first, people were confused. The share price started soaring despite that. And the reason why the share price ended up soaring is because of what they ended up announcing. So their overall financial summary was decent, not so great in some regards. Uh, revenue did increase year over year, but compared to the previous quarter, it is down. It's also below expectations. Their operating margins, you guys can see it right here where it says operating margin. This is also in technically a little bit below what the expectation was. So it's right over here. The operating margins are actually down a little bit. They're only at 5.5%. That's a little bit lower than what we saw from the past year. And despite that, despite some weakness in those different sectors, everything that Tesla talked about during their earnings call was bullish. Just to name a couple of things, because I don't want to talk about everything. It's really, really a lot of stuff. I have like, you know, a lot of notes on this, but I just want to say that the first good thing is they had a lot of updates to the Model 3. Energy storage has increased and their AI training capacity has more than doubled. On top of that, they have new improvements to the FSD technology. They're pushing out hardware 3 to 1.8 million vehicles, and they're going to be making some big robotaxi announcements in August for August 8th. They're incorporating more GPUs. We're seeing the 46, <coughs> excuse me, 4680 status continuing to increase for production. They have an Optimus AI robot that is once again increasing its capabilities, and they may be able to sell it in the future. Musk said that by next year, they may be able to sell it by the end of next year. That is what a lot of investors wanted to hear. They're saying FSD is continuing to grow. Uh, they imply that there could be a share buyback coming in the future as they're seeing more positive free cash flow. And they, they continue to pump the importance of the Cybertruck, achieving more than 1,000 uh, production 1,000 cars produced in a, just a one week, which is pretty good for them. Uh, production's increasing as well for other sectors. The growth rates, and Musk said that they may actually sell more cars in 2024 than 2023. Musk is still saying that. And he's saying a lot of things that are very positive for the long term. So it was all about AI, FSD, Cybertruck doing well, Optimus doing well. And they talked a lot about FSD becoming a very, very important in Tesla achieving autonomous technology. There was a lot of talk and developments about that. And that was so bullish for the long term that the share price ended up just exploding. So it may continue to pump now with all this hype about the robo taxi and such. And, you know, they, they implied a possible buyback could be coming. So that's very, very bullish for the long term. That is what trumped all these other shorts and such and that's why tesla's up quite a bit and this could act as a catalyst for the whole market for tomorrow as a reminder uh tomorrow is going to be wednesday april 24th there's not really any data coming out in the morning that's significant except for some bill auctions at 11 30 a.m eastern standard time we have the 17 week bill auction another auction after that uh, then we have the five-year notes auction so just a bunch of bill auctions later on for tomorrow besides that for earnings for tomorrow we have boeing and AT&T, not to mention Meta and IBM and Ford all announcing their earnings tomorrow. So I'll be watching those very carefully. The market is becoming less fearful than before getting closer to neutral. We're seeing buyers returning. Market momentum is back to neutral. And the puts and call positioning is starting to dip a bit as this reached extreme fear. A lot of these puts are being, once again, uh, changed. 
So we can also see that looking at the Chinese insurance registrations, we're seeing a nice little increase, at least for NEO at 2,990. Tesla's weren't the best at 5,100, but still not bad whatsoever. Good improvements for NEO's end. And this is putting them on track to meeting some expectations for deliveries. NEO also saw about 42 million in volume, not to mention the fact that McGuire gave them a neutral rating. So I think this is a good sign. Tesla is strong. It's holding its EMAs nicely. It's holding above 160. And we saw this absolutely explode after all these bullish AI developments that have been announced. They did this intentionally to try to help the share price, in my opinion. And I think that market makers could use this as an excuse to pump the markets more. So in summary, it was mainly just AI and FSD talk that really helped this thing pump. And also they were talking about the robo-taxi, big announcements coming out, and must continue to reiterate the importance of AI and autonomous technology being a multi-trillion dollar company, not to mention the fact that Optimus is going to be a big catalyst as well. So we're going to talk about Neo in a few minutes. Looking at NVIDIA, it's pumping. It's pumping with all the AI talk. We're going to likely see this approach to 200 EMA at 850. NVIDIA may pump a bit more. This could help the markets. For SPY, SPY is going to be approaching 506.77 as resistance. If that breaks, we're going to be on our way up to about 509. I could be looking for 509. We look bullish. This could break out to 509. We look like we have a lot of potential to go up there. So SPY is looking bullish. Could continue to break thanks to Tesla. Watch and see if we lose. 503.5, we could start sinking back down to 502, then 500, but that's going to be our key support. As of right now, we're holding up nicely and we could push higher thanks to Tesla. The QQQ, it's also pushing. It's up another couple of points in the after hours. As you guys can see, it's still holding up nicely. Uh, we're currently at 427. If we keep pushing, look at 428 as resistance. And once we break that, we'll get very close to 430. This has potential to go up towards 430, in my opinion. If we lose 425, we could turn back to bearish and retest the 422s. But this chart's looking bullish, and I see potential for 430. For Apple, Apple is also building some support right over here. We got a nice uh, accumulation structure right here. We could push a little bit higher. If we break past 167, we could be pushing all the way up towards 168. Uh, and I think that this definitely has quite a bit of potential. So we'll have to watch and see if this could actually break out. Uh, if we break past 167.5, we could actually push a little bit higher approach in earnings. Uh, this is looking like it's decent overall. It's not like ripping really hard, but it does have potential. So this is once again more positive for the markets. So with the market potentially bouncing, with Tesla launching up with all the AI talk, we could easily see this approach 4.15. If that breaks, our next try is to be all the way up towards 4.25. I definitely see potential in this. This could really help, uh, uh, you know, this could really help the share price soar. So I think that Tesla is a big catalyst and this is going to help things a lot, a lot for NEO. So that's my prediction for tomorrow, guys. Thank you all so much for listening. I want to make this video quick. I know I'm very late. I was waiting for the Tesla earnings call to end. That took forever. But with that being over, thank you for listening. Have a great day, guys, and peace out.